You're tuned into We Talk Radio Network. Welcome to the Kia D Unplugged show. I got a young lady who joined me last week. We're going to welcome her back to the Hot Topic panel. She is none other than the extraordinary Fernice. What up, Fern Fern? What up? What up, Queen? Hello, everyone. I hope everyone's having a great day and ready to have some fun. How was your day, Fernice? <laughs> Me. Oh, my day was very intriguing today. <laughs> really? Listen, very we want to know. I know it was interesting. It sounds you know, like it was interesting by the way you took that laugh in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, uh, that one right there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to take my hat off and salute and bow to all the females in the world that get a Brazilian wax. Yes. I want to take my hat off to you ladies. Uh, Today was my first one. Woo. Uh-oh. T-Smiley in the background. He said, "Uh uh-oh. He said, "Uh uh-oh. We (laughs) need to know what happened. I'm about to leave the studio. Uh -uh. He said he leaving. He said, "Uh uh-oh, this wasn't wasn't (laughs) nice for me. I'm out of here. Don't run, T. Don't run. Don't run. Look. Mm. So I got My a question. My pain tolerance is kind of high, but woo. Okay, so I need you to explain because me, unfortunately, I have not had a Brazilian uh, wax, um, mm-hmm. but it looks like I might be getting one soon, depending on what you you know you know. So let me let me ask you this: Is it is it? Tell us first of all. Um, what specifically a Brazilian wax is? A Brazilian wax is when you get hot wax put on your private part and it rips all the hair off. You know, they rip it off. They don't just scrub it off. Mm. Oh, they can scrub it off. There is a sugar scrub for that too, but oh, I don't think I want to try that. I don't oh. want anybody scrubbing me like that, but it is a sugar scrub. But the wax is like getting your eyebrows waxed just in a more sensitive area. So every short, long piece of hair you have on your body is ripped off. Okay, I got two questions. First question, mm-hmm. when the, you, you, you got it waxed all the way off, is, did they leave a strip like a runway? You know, back in the day, you know, they used to live the strip like the runway. It depends on what your preference is. Gotcha. So you can go completely bald. Yes, just as smooth as a baby's bottom. Or you can have your strip. Mm. It's up to you. But I will make this one suggestion. If it is really long, cut it down. (laughs) <laughs> before you go <laughs> oh, Take it down before you go Oh man Okay, 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 okay So How far do they go? Is it from the rooter to the tutor? Or is it just yes. the rooter? Yes. Ah No, no, they mm, off The whole 100 yards Yes, yes, she said one hundred yards. Yes, yes, it's I good. It. The field goal is good. Yes, oh, it's good. I got a question. Okay, T Smiley is in the building, yes. right? T Smiley, yes. you know, I I know that you know. I need to know: is this something that a man no. can do? 
speak speak into the mic. The men yes. need to know tonight. No. <laughs> I, they can do it if they want. <laughs> they, I mean, if they want, they could. They actually have on the site women wax or men for men waxing. They they really do. It's really on there. It's separated. Or you can go as a couple. Nice. Yes, couple time. Yes, let's do it. And then we'll go jump out of a helicopter. It, it, it's let's only live on the edge. They see Smiley. They see Smiley. It's just going to go, you know, just... It's, that's it. Let me, tell, let me tell you what they got for men out there right now. It's called it's called the uh uh the little they got a little shaver, you know what I'm saying? They got commercial. If you if you look at T V long enough you might see the commercial but <laughs> where they got the little the whole little kit and it's a it's like a edge of like, you know, go get a line up at at, at, at at the barbershop, you know what I'm saying? You get these little edges, go down there and you trim. You do it yourself. You ain't gotta go and it don't hurt. <laughs> That's what it, if we did all. it together? What if we just did? What if we, this is you know? Cause for those of you who do not know, T Smiley is my fiance. We're getting married this year in July. It would be nice to yeah, do yeah. something, uh, you know, out the box with with, with T Smiley. Bernice, you can you can take you can take her uh, you can take her uh, to go get that. Done. You can take her to go get that done. Y'all just tell me how it go when it's over with, okay? <laughs> Tell me how. Tell me how much you cried. Let you know how. Okay. Because I'm gonna cry. I got you. I got you. I. You know. You know. I did. I did shed a couple of tears out the corner of my eyes. You know. I was like, ooh, okay. I I wasn't great for it at first. Right, and then you come home. Then you come home sore. And then I can't even. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy it because you sore. but, but it's not like that. She's not going to be sore. There you go. Sore. See? Not going to even be sore. You will love it. Screaming. Okay. Ah! Let's, let's, let's go get it tomorrow. You're going to be yeah. trying to get her to go back. I'm talking about. I'm talking about for wedding time. You know, we can't enjoy. You gotta, gotta wait to enjoy me. You can't enjoy me now. I gotta hold you off. I mean, I'm just saying. Like you were saying, it was like nothing. That's so what it's gonna do. Like, okay, go we'll get it tomorrow. Okay. All right. All right. He listen. If if I need to go. Tomorrow, I can't do it tomorrow. I got to form tomorrow. If I need to go Thursday, no, I can't do it tomorrow. I can't do it Thursday either. Listen, we're going to figure it out, but I think my schedule is real full for the next six months. But I'm going to figure it out, Bernice. I'm going to try and get in there, especially if I got to go by myself. If T's smiling, not going with me, it, ooh, it'd be different Different when you, you know, first timer. Because see, what I really was going to do is I was going to pretend like I was going to get it, and I was just really going to let him get it. You know, that's really what I was going to do. But he ruined that, so oh, I'm just saying. Well, Farnese, listen, you got to let us know. You got to let us know how this goes. Let us know exactly, you know, what happens with the rest of the week. Um, we need to know. Like, is it does it grow back fast? Does it, you know, what happens? Is, is it itchy? You know, yes. is it scratchy? You I, know. I will. I will keep you informed because I'm. I'm. You know. One of those people, I have to see how it works if I go back. If right. it's not working, right. going, I can't go back if it grows back just as fast as a razor does. So it has to be well worth it. So, Fernice, you got you got the Brazilian wax. Um, is what's next? The yes. Brazilian butt lift? No, baby, I don't need. I don't have issues in that area. Well, come through. <laughs> Come through, African American <laughs> butt lift. Yes. Yes. Okay. I don't have problems in that area. <laughs> <laughs> she said it's natural. Yeah. I love it. That's I love it, it. baby. I love it. Listen, I have, have fun great tonight. Jeans. I'm. You know what? That's the one good thing about having good jeans. And I know. I listen. I know a lot of people that are not black that got some nice jeans. You know what I'm saying? Like some mm-hmm. beautiful women with some banging mm-hmm. bodies. I mean, I'm not homosexual or anything. Yeah. I'm just saying. I know how to give a woman a good compliment. When she look good, she look good. You know? It don't matter if I'm That's homosexual, right. heterosexual, LBT2, QIA. Don't matter. I know <laughs> how to give a woman a compliment. And I think in life, mm-hmm. we have to learn how to how to acknowledge each other more without 
you know what I'm saying, without making it seem like there's something attached to it. I just want to give you a compliment. I like your hair today. Real talk. I don't even need to know who did it, but you know your hair look good. And I think men as well, like, they need to step up to the plate as well and tell a brother, man, bro, I sure do like them shoes. Man, that jacket clean. You know, I think mm-hmm. they get the, the, the stigma of, of you're a homosexual if you say that to somebody. And that's not that's not true, brothers. Y'all need to step up to the plate. And Okay, well, T. Smiley said they do that. Well, not all of them, because I've heard some brothers are like, I can't give another brother a compliment. I don't know why. You know, why, why, can, why cannot you give another brother a compliment, you know, or give anybody a compliment, you know? So, you know, it's all about seeing the good in somebody. It, it doesn't even have to be about appearance. Yeah. You know, it might have been a good deed. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we just got to learn how to love each other more. That's all I'm saying.